Be sure to check out my store for the stuff I use and templates at a low cost, and get my everything pack so you can have everything in my store at a reduced cost, less than $20 if you tweet it out. What's up guys, Quezzy here bringing you guys another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do this 3D brush text uh, in Cinema 4D. Uh, not sure really what to call it, it kind of looks like brush strokes, but like kind of like 3D paint. I don't know, it looks really awesome. This is sort of what it looks like. Uh, I don't have this rendered out right now, but um, uh, cause it takes like 10 minutes to render and I kept trying to render it and then clicking away and it kept undoing the render. So I'll just put a picture of the final render here. So you guys have an idea of what we're doing, but yeah, let's get started. So I'm just going to hide all of this stuff real fast and put that towards the bottom. All right. So here we are. I'm using my own Lightroom, which is in my store. If you want to use it, you can buy it or use your Lightroom or whatever other Lightroom. Or I guess you don't really have to use Lightroom right now, you can do that later. But we're going to go ahead and get some text. So we're going to go to the spline and get some text right here. By the way, I think I'm using Cinema 4D R17. So uh, if things look different, that's why. Uh, you just want to put in your text. We're going to align that in the middle. Bump up the height. Um, I'm going to go, I'll probably go like 600 actually. And then let's bump up the horizontal spacing close to 200 ish. And then let's go ahead and pick a font. And if you guys know me, I always use Gotham font for tutorials and things. So let's go and find Gotham. Where is it at? There we are. And I use Gotham light. And now we're going to go ahead to the objects, going to get a landscape. We're going to change the size from, from or to 600, 600, 600. Then we're going to decrease the rough furrows. Bump up the scale to about 1.03-ish. And then bump down the pl plateau level to about like 55. So something you get something like this. Actually, we might want to bump this up a little more. Maybe 65. I don't know. We can uh, come back and play with that. Now let's go to the uh, deformers and let's get the spline wrap. And let's just drop that onto the landscape. And let's select that uh, spline wrap. Let's put it at plus Y. And let's get our text and drag it into the where it says spline. So now you can see it'll outline our text and things. Let's bump up the offset to about 55 we can play with that later as well and let's move down open up the size tab if it is hidden for you and we're gonna go ahead and add a point around like 0.75 and I believe you can just hit command click to add a point then we're gonna select these two side points and bring them down and then we're gonna select just this right one and change the anchor point to straight up Let's move down to rotation and uh, hit, you might have to drop that down and we want to set the banking to 90 and then let's get this left point, bring it up, go down, get the left point, bring that up as well. Sorry, I was just interrupted. Um, then we want to go to uh, over here and get the subdivision surface. I believe this has a different name depending on your Cinema 4D, but it should just be the first one here. And you just wanna get one of those and add your landscape to that. And that'll kinda of smooth things out a bit. And now you can play around with settings to try to get different looks. So if we go to the spline wrap, we can like change the offset to kinda of get it how we want. We can also go to the text and maybe bump up the size so it's not so close and together and then we can bump down the horizontal size too or horizontal spacing like so so you get something like this you can play around with the settings a little more i kind of want to fix the u a little bit that's that's pretty good this should look all right but then we want to go ahead and create our texture so let's go ahead and double click and i'm going to go in here to the material editor and let's go ahead to 
uh, where it says texture, hit the drop down uh, menu and go to layer. Click on the black box. We want to go to image and we want to add an image. And uh, I believe this, this texture I used is like colorful, beautiful color texture. I think if you Google color texture, it'll be one of the first to come up, but I will include just like a, the Imker image of this in the description so you guys can quickly save it. Hit open. I'm just going to click no. And then you can go to effect, hue and saturation. And you can mess around with the hue to get different colors depending on what you want. And I'm going to go somewhere around negative 97. You can also bump up the saturation and let's go to reflectance and this again might look different depending on your cinema 4d version obviously i'm in a newer one but i want to go here to add and i want to do a, a legacy reflection and then i want to drop down the opacity of this guy so i'm going to go here to layer one and just bump this down pretty far and actually let's go ahead and bump down the reflection strength and the bump strength and that should be all right we can go ahead and just drop that on to our subdivision surface and we get this i will try to render this out for you uh, it'll probably take a little bit but that's the general concept of this so hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial uh hopefully it was a short one it kind of felt short but this is a really sweet effect that you can do some pretty cool text with. You can also do other shapes. It doesn't have to be text. You can obviously do anything else you want. But thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please drop a like on the video. At 100 likes, I will include the Cinema 4D file for this guy in the description for you guys to download below. But other than that, guys, subscribe for more tutorials. Follow me on Twitter at Quezzy, and I'll see you next time. Peace.